everyone, I'm Sarah Martin, the Associate Director of Forecasting at Dodge Construction Network, and today I will be reviewing September's Momentum Index. Now, as a reminder, the DMI tracks the value of non-residential building projects under $500 million as they enter the planning queue. This index leads construction spending by about 12 months. So we saw the Momentum Index uh, decrease about 4.2% in September, to a reading of 208.6. The commercial segment decreased 7.8% and the institutional segment grew 5.2%. Now, despite this month's decline, the index remains at very robust levels. Obviously, the surge in data center activity over the past few months has been much of the reason why we've seen this almost sort of vertical growth in the index. So as we've seen data center planning activity sort of moderate, um, still very strong, but just that growth, that year-over-year -year growth um, is beginning to moderate. That drove much of the decline um, on the commercial side of the index. So per usual, here's a breakout of each segment. We have commercial and institutional. So starting with commercial, you know, planning generally receded over the month across most segments. So we saw warehouses, offices, and stores all slow down in September. Hotels, on the other hand, have been gaining speed over the past five months and continue to do so in September as well. Data centers continue to dominate large project activity, so it's still definitely an important piece of the picture here. Um, but again, we're just seeing those levels moderate a bit from the above average level of growth that we've seen in recent months. On the institutional side, education, healthcare, and recreational projects were the primary drivers behind this month's expansion we only saw religious planning post a small decline. Year over year, the whole DMI is now up 21% compared to September of 2023. Uh, the commercial segment was up 31% from year ago levels, while the institutional segment was up 4% over the same time period. So by late 2025, the impact of the Fed's rate cuts should be substantial enough that we finally see these projects in planning really begin to reach groundbreaking more quickly than they have over the past year or so. And that should lead to some stronger non-residential construction starts in mid-2025 to early 2026. So there really is a steady pipeline of construction projects that we believe are going to be ready to break ground once those market conditions are right. So that about wraps it up for me. Thank you so much for watching.